everyone, it's Miss J. I'm here today to work on some multi-step problems with you all. Um, before we get started, I need you to understand that when we read a word problem, um, sometimes we need to break it down into more than one step. That means we need to complete several equations or steps before we get to our final answer. So today the word problem that we're working on um, has Terry and Natalie and they're going to be taking their model cars and putting them into equal rows. But they don't want to know how many rows Terry has by himself or Natalie has by herself. They want to know how many rows um, Terry and Natalie have all together. So in order to figure that out, I'm going to have to do three separate steps in order to get to my final answer. I know that because they don't tell me how many rows Terry has and they don't tell me how many rows Natalie has. Um, so we need to first figure out how many rows Terry has, how many rows Natalie has, and then we can take our um, separate answers and add them together to get our final answer. So we're going to get started by figuring out the number of rows Terry has. Then we're going to find the number of rows Natalie has. And last, we're going to find the total number of rows by adding them together. So we're going to get started by thinking about the number of model cars Terry has. So if you look in the problem, um, you'll see that Terry has 24 model cars. So I know we're starting out with a total of 24 model cars. Next it says he arranges them into equal rows of six. So I need to think about what operation am I going to use to find out how many rows he has. So he's taking his cars and he's kind of like dividing them up or splitting them up into equal groups. So I know when I split something into equal groups, that means I'm dividing. So I'm taking my 24 cars and dividing them into groups or rows of 6. So 24 divided by 6 is, can you guess it? Do you know it? Good job. It's 4. So how many rows does Terry have? Terry has 4 rows. Now we're going to find the number of rows Natalie has. In the problem, it says Natalie has 18 cars. So she's starting out with 18 cars, and she's also splitting them up into equal groups. She's putting them into groups of three or rows of three. So when I put things into equal groups, that means I am dividing. I know that she's taking 18 cars and dividing them into rows of 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Good job. So, Natalie has 6 rows. But I'm not finished. The question asks me how many rows do they have all together? So to find the number of rows in all or all together, I'm going to use what operation? If you guessed adding, you're right. So I'm going to find the total by taking Terry's rows and adding them to Natalie's rows. And now I will have how many rows all together? Good. Ten rows all together. When you're solving word problems, you need to think about how to get to the answer by coming up with a plan. Sometimes your plan will have more than one step, just like the one we did together. So make sure you come up with your plan by listing out your steps and working through it piece by piece until you have your solution. Thanks, guys.